In this video, we'll talk about human papilloma virus or HPV. This is a high yield video for USMLE step one. Stay tuned till the end. So human papilloma virus is a double stranded DNA virus that can infect human and that induce hyperplastic epithelial lesions. Most commonly, these are known as warts. HPV shows dramatic specificity for epithelial cell. So epithelial cells in different locations of the body are the primary target of HPV infection. So let us look at the H HPV structure in bit more details. So it has several capsid proteins. Most important ones are capsid protein L2 and L1. Then there are histone like proteins, which is wrapped around by a double stranded genomic DNA. So HPP, HPV does not have any envelope. So it's a naked or non enveloped virus. So just to quickly overview, give an overview, where does HPV stand in the DNA virus? So under the DNA virus, there could be single or double stranded DNA viruses. HPV belongs to the double stranded non enveloped Papova viridi family. Now, in order to understand the basis of warts and HPV replication inside the epithelial cells, we have to understand the skin in a little bit of uh, details. So in skin, there are different kind of layers. So you can see there are basal cell layers, spinous layer, granular and uh, stratum corneum layer. So HPV actually go and infect the basal layer first and eventually as the cells migrate and cells mature over time HPV also assemble the viral particle over time. So here is a basal cell where the HPV has injected the genetic material so as these cells divide there are more and more cells which has the HPV genetic material. So it's kind of like a genome maintenance mode as these cells divide HPV also uh, get increased in number. Then there is spinous cell layer where the genome replication or amplification of the genome takes place. Eventually, there would be expression of early and the late genes for, for the virus. And eventually, virion assembly happens in the stratum corneum cells, which eventually can shed off from the warts. Now, it's important to note that during the course of these entire cycle, there are different proteins such as early and the late proteins which are expressed. And some of these early proteins are really important in regulation of host cell cycle. In a moment, it would be clear. So just to recap, initially, the infected basal cell, cell layer works as a genomic maintenance hub for these viruses. Eventually, the viral replication cycle begins with the progression of cellular differentiation. So genome amplification happens in the spinous layer mostly and eventually the viral assembly happens in the stratum corneum. So the viral protein E6 and E7 can actually inhibit two important tumor suppressor gene P53 and PRP. Both of them are known to regulate and suppress uncontrolled growth and uncontrolled progression of the cell cycle. Now imagine a scenario when there is E6 and E7 blocked P53 and PRB activity. So it cannot check the uncontrolled uh, movement in the cell cycle. So cell cycle resumes and become uncontrollable in many of these host cells leading to cancer development. So uncontrolled cell cycle progression would eventually lead to cancer. HPV is in fact associated with several cancer. One of the most common is cervical cancer, vulvar cancer, vaginal cancer, penile cancer, anal cancer and also uh, oropharyngeal cancer. So among them the cervical cancer is most common and HP, certain serotypes of HPV is responsible for the cervical cancer. So HPV infection can generate warts and these warts could be in different locations like flat warts in arms, face and knee, common warts in fingers and hands which are a bit uh, uh, elaborate and basically there are plantar warts present in the soles of the foot which are, could, could be quite painful. Some of the anogenital warts which are present in the anus or the genital region could be benign mostly. But in certain strains or certain serotypes of HPV, such as HPV 16 and 18 infection, it might lead to uh, carcinoma, uh, uh, might lead to uh, cervical carcinoma.
So there are some benign serotypes like HPV11, HPV6. There are some uh, preneoplastic serotypes such as HPV16, 18, 31 and 35. Anyway, detection of HPV can be done using pap smear test. So it's not a kind of like specific test for HPV, but it would tell whether there is a carcinogenic progression in the cer cervix or not. So the cervical epithe in, uh, <coughs> epithelial cells would be spread on a slide and their morphology would be tracked by a pathologist. And if it is cancerous progression, then these uh, coelocytic cells, which had bu uh, huge nucleus, would be observed. Now, the treatment of HPV infection can be done using cryotherapy, liquid nitrogen-based cryotherapy, laser-dependent uh, removal of it, or chemical-based therapy like with salicylic acid. Then, uh, imiquimod is basically an immune response modifier that can help in the treatment of these warts. HPV vaccine exists and HPV vaccine is basically the uh, kind of like all these capsid proteins. So all these viral particles can get injected into the human's body. They might uh, create the antibodies responsible to neutralize the HPV virus. So next time when there is a real infection, there is already predisposed antibodies in the body which can fight against the HPV infection. And right now, the HPV vaccine drive almost eradicated the uh, cervical cancer which is uh, happening due to HPV infection. So I hope this video was useful. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in the next video.